This is the sound of children at play, a joy that can be compromised by a major issue in the Chicagoland area. A recent study found that 75% of residential city blocks in Chicago have lead contaminated water. More than 66% of children under the age six live on these blocks and may be exposed. Chicago has the most lead service lines in the country because they were banned in 1986, but before then, Chicago made them mandatory for everyone to have. Since Chicago was not forced to remove its lead pipes, it left most of it in the ground, relying on water treatment instead to lower the lead levels. But according to Benjamin Hewen, lower lead levels aren't always guaranteed. Your water can sp have spiked levels of lead if, for example, the city does construction on the water main near your house. With young children in danger, parents and child care professionals are concerned. All of these environmental things it plays a, um, a direct uh, part into um, these uh, rising rates of kids with autism in our communities. According to the Illinois Department of Public Health, the prevalence of autism has been increasing over the years. In 2002, the prevalence rate was 1 in 333 children. In 2018, 1 in 59. And in 2023, 1 in 51. Data shows that autistic children have higher lead levels in hair, blood, and urine, indicating a high body burden of this heavy metal. Here are three ways you can keep your children safe at home. One, call 311 to request a free water quality lead inspection. Two, run your water for at least five minutes before drinking. And three, get a water filter that is NSF certified. But according to Hewen, there's only one permanent solution. At the end of the day, the really the only way to really get rid of this problem for good is to replace the lead service lines completely. In Austin, Anaya Jones, Chicago, This Week.